Hi guys, I'm Willie Sandry. Today we're going to be making this cute little bandsaw box that you can make and really you don't need many tools for it. A bandsaw is the primary tool that we'll be using. We got our shop dog Dipper here to help us so stick around we'll check it out. Okay so we've glued up our blank of hardwoods, walnut and maple in this case. This has had a chance to dry overnight and so we'll get this out of clamps and Go ahead and start shaping up our blank for the bandsaw box. Do make sure that your blank is no thicker than your spindle sander. That'll just make it easier on you when it comes to sand things later. Get the dust collection going and shape that blank. Okay, a little bit of light spray adhesive on some paper so we can draw our pattern right on the blank. Don't go crazy with the glue on this. You're going to have to take it off eventually. So. The blank's all squared up at this point so we'll just align the paper with the bottom of the blank and away we go. Use your actual spindle sleeve to lay out the corner radius and that way you'll easily be able to sand into the corner. With the pattern laid out on our blank we'll go ahead and cut the ends off to shape and then we'll go ahead and cut the back off while we have the wide half inch blade on. So we'll change over to a quarter inch blade. Little tip for changing blades on the 1412 bandsaw. Raise up your guide post slightly so this projects just past the upper wheel and that'll hold your blade on as you get the lower wheel set. Once the cut is made, you can raise up your guide block a little more and we should just be able to lift it out of there and gingerly come around the blade. Well, there we go, we're off to a good start. Okay, so now we'll trim the back and front edges of this drawer right off. Just glue the box back together to fix it. And then just scoop out the middle of the drawer.
and then just a little sanding to smooth up the inside of the box. And now we'll get some glue on and just glue the box back together. Seems simple enough. bit of sanding on the inside of the box as well. And then we'll just glue the back onto the box again. Don't worry too much about sanding the bandsaw surfaces. Things will nestle together just fine. trim out the curved shapes on the end of the box here. Okay, so we're just smoothing over the edges with a little 1 8 inch round over bit at the router table. When it comes time to rounding over the edges on the box itself, you're free to work around the inside perimeter and the curved shapes and the top. Just keep the bottom edge square for now so that it doesn't interfere with mounting the legs. Just a couple of short dados for the zebra wood legs. And just another pass to widen the groove. Okay, so we've got our little dados cut in the bottom of the bandsaw box, and now we've got some really pretty zebra wood that I'd like to use for accents. We'll make a decorative drawer pole out of this piece, and then these little strips will make nice legs and we'll shape those a bit at the bandsaw. So that's coming up next. Sound good, Trooper? Good job. All right. Okay, so one of the last steps is just to get these little zebra wood feet glued into place. And they stick about an inch and a quarter beyond the box. We'll get those clamped in place and we're just about done. About ready for a finish. Nice snug fit there. So we've made a little custom zebra wood handle for our drawer and this is just coming out of the clamps and you'll get a little better look at how we made that. 
So the front of the handle will look like this. Just a softened and, and shaped wooden handle. And on the back, it just has a thin strip of wood that will function to attach it to the drawer. And then just a decorative vertical element here that started out as wood the same thickness as these side pieces, but it's just been shaped so it looks like a, a pin or a tusk of a tenon gives that general effect. Okay, just a little bit of glue and we'll get that attached to the drawer. Okay, so we'll wipe on some Watco oil and uh, see if we can bring out a little bit of the color and character in this wood. We'll finish wiping this on and then it'll just be time for a little bit of satin lacquer, two coats to finish off the project. All right guys, thanks for watching the bandsaw box project. It's a quick and easy one that you can tackle in a weekend as long as you have your shop dog trooper with you. Why don't you give it a try in your shop? Thanks for watching.